Hey! <laughs> and your first fish on a spinnerbait. First fish on a spinnerbait. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a bigger brookie there, guys. It's gotta be fast. Oh, it's not. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today I'm actually at one of my favorite places in the world, or at least that I've ever tried. I grew up here. This is uh, a stream that I spent most of my childhood on. So today we're going to be down here walking on Benetton Creek and we're going to see what we can get into. Now that's sad. You see that folks? This right here is what happens when you don't throw away your fishing line. That's a kingfisher. That poor bird got tangled up. Got tangled up in that fish line and died. That's a shame. Such a pretty bird. I just walked up on a sheephead hiding here in the grass. There he is. Oh no, it's a carp. Nope, it's a sheephead. Oh, he's going for that jig too. I have never sight fished for sheephead. I never even thought it could be a thing, but I guess it is. Oh, there's another sheephead. Another good size one too. Got him. Oh, he sucked that jig right up. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. I have never in my life sight fished for sheephead. <laughs> that is a blast. <laughs> yeah, he came over and sucked that Ned rig right up. <laughs> I got him right in my trout net. That's just crazy, guys. What a... <laughs> he hopped right out of my little net. I'm all tangled up. Get up here, buddy. <laughs> How cool is that? There's a little bass. <laughs> little tiny smallmouth. Sure are pretty though. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I seen him coming down, so I threw in front of him and he nailed it. <laughs> That's a dark little smallmouth there. Oh, there's a bigger one. There are two bigger ones ahead of him there. They're just hanging out in this channel. Oh, one of them chased him up here. They usually do that. They're hoping he's going to drop the bait. Yeah, it's a dark, real dark smallmouth there. There are some really big ones in here too, folks. That's what I'm hoping to tie into. But for now, I'll play with any little bass that comes along. They're all fun. Oh, I just walked up on a sheep head there. Oh, and I don't know what that was that I spooked. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do a uh, snorkel episode soon here. I always like floating down this river because 
I get up close and personal with all different species of fish. Oh, that hit good. That might be a better one. Nope, rock bass. <laughs> rock bass on the Ned rig <laughs> well that's two that's three species today Let's see how many more we can get oh he landed in my net <laughs> that's I bet you that don't happen often Another rock bass. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> a little smally. No rock bass. Man, I thought for sure that one was a smallmouth. Now well, that's a small mouth. Whoop. <laughs> oh, rock bass. <laughs> oh, there's a big smallie chasing it too. <laughs> there's two small mouths chasing him. Three small mouths. Whole school right there. Oh, there's two right behind him. Crazy. Rock bass. He's still after it. Got him that time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they're always good for a good time. Oh! <laughs> that's a small mouth there. Oh, that's the best thing about them. They sure know how to jump. <laughs> Not even a real big one, but man, they're fun though. I don't care what size they are. Especially out of the streams and rivers, they put up a better fight than most lake fish. <laughs> hey, he nailed it as soon as it hit the water. Whoa. <laughs> Not around the legs. <laughs> Beautiful. I love those colors. <laughs> got a little baby. Oh, you got it. <laughs> little baby smallmouth. There's a lot of them in here. fish hit it as soon as it hit the water oh it's another smallmouth about the size of that last one <laughs> now like I said folks today I'm jigging with the I'm just using the Ned rig worm and a small jig about an eighth ounce jig Anything would work though on these creeks. I mean, you could throw spinners, you could throw a worm. In fact, if I use live bait, I know I'd be getting fish every single cast, but I enjoy trying new techniques. And I wanted to see how this Ned rig would work, which seems to be doing the trick. I think it's really cool that I was able to get a sheep head on it, on a jig. <laughs> I know I've done that at the Saginaw River, but that's the only place I've ever done that. Yep, beautiful, healthy Venet and Creek smallmouth. One thing I love about these Ned worms is they don't rip very easy, so you can catch a lot of fish on one bait. That's the only problem I really had with gulp, is uh, they tear apart easy. You pretty much only get use out of one or two fish, and then they're ripped into pieces. And just like I do for trout, I'm basically just casting structure anywhere where there's shade and deep holes that's a little baby smallmouth oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> that one hit it on the way in. Surprised we ain't hooked into a large mouth yet. There's quite a few nice large mouth on this stream too. Yeah, my mother has actually, she always loved bass. Like that was her favorite, ooh, other than walleye, bass was one of her favorite fish to eat. So years ago, me, my dad, and her brothers would come down to the creek every year, last Saturday in April, or Memorial Day weekend, sorry, we'd come down for the bass opener every year. And we would all catch some bass to take home to cook up for mom. And that was one memory that down here that's always gonna stick with me. It was a great memory. We always had such a good time down here catching those fish and bringing them home for mom. So that's why it's uh, it feels good to come down here and do this again. I mean, even though I'm just throwing them back, I enjoy it. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Not as big as the last one, but it's a it's bigger than the other two. There's another one chasing him. Whole school after him. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's tons of them. <laughs> Get up here, baby. <sighs> Bennett and Lake Gold right there. We'll love it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, smaller, but big enough to put up a good fight. <laughs> oh, there's one little guy. They hit hard. <laughs> oh, there's a big one right behind him. Like I said, they're not trying to eat this little bass. They're actually coming after him, hoping he's going to drop whatever he's got. If he were to have dropped it, I probably would have caught one of them. That's a good one. Oh, I didn't even feel him hit, guys. He must have just picked it up off the bottom. <laughs> Caught him when he jumped. dark one. Oh, that fish hit fast. <laughs> uh. Uh, calm down. a little bass get out of the weeds <laughs> there we go Seen that mouth open up. Another small mouth. <laughs> oh, there we go. Another little one. 
No, nope, rock bass. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's, I think it's a rock bass, but oh no, it's a, oh, oh, he's around a log. It's a big small mouth. Oh, I got him off the log. That's a huge small mouth. That's what I'm after. Come on, baby. There's another big one right behind him. <laughs> That's a nice bass. That's a big one. Man, this trout net's proven to be a worthwhile investment. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at that pig, folks. I'm going to get a picture of that one. All right, let's get this baby back. That's a monster. Look at her go. Beautiful fish. That's what I want to get into a bunch of, folks. <laughs> oh, oh, that's another big one. That's another big fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's another hog. Oh, that one made a little rainbow. Another big smallie. Get up here. Whoa, he's seen me. <laughs> this one's got an ugly, ugly notch on his face. Something's either bit him or. He's barely hooked, too. Get out of them weeds. Got it. Yeah, he's got a big old mark on his face. Man, these are heavy fish. I should have brought my scale. These are real heavy. Oh, look at that. I'm a... He's blind in that eye, too. He's had a rough life. I'm going to get a picture, too. All right. Let's get this pretty baby back. There she goes. That's just awesome. <laughs> That's a little one. Rock bass. Now, for those of you that didn't see my original Ned Rig episode... This is all the Ned Rig is. I mean, I don't have the actual Ned Rig jig on right now, which it's not much different than regular little jigs, but that's all the Ned Rig is. It's just a piece of a rubber worm, really, except it floats. So when it does hit the bottom, it lays up like this, but half these fish, they're not even letting it see in the water there. It stays straight up and down, but these fish aren't even letting it hit the bottom. I mean, they're just nailing it on the drop. Now, right here, I spent a lot of time growing up. I, I was down here just about every day. I'd ride my bike down. I would fish right off of this little peninsula. Caught so many fish here. I used to catfish right there because there's these big trees. They've been here for years in the water. And there's a deep hole underneath of them. It's a great spot. But there's a lot of big bass in here, too. There's a fish. 
the bass. Oh, get out of the tree limb. There. That's a better fish. Not a monster, but not bad either. Ooh, get off that log. Pretty. Ooh, that feels like a good one. Nope. Rock bass. Not a bad rock bass, though. Normally, I'd keep that. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know there was a fish on there. He's swimming right with me. There's one. <laughs> There's another little dark one. like a better one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy, I can't even see my jig on him. He inhaled it. Oh, he ain't done yet. There we go. Not bad. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, there's a bigger one behind him. Man, I hope you guys can see that when that happens. It's so cool. There's two other bass following him. Three other bass. It's just beautiful. Spitting out his food. He just spit out a whole bunch of crawfish. Boy, he inhaled it too. They're just starting to hit harder. There we go. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure had fun making it. Caught a ton of fish. Deer flies are getting bad. They're starting to bite me too because my sprays finally wore off. I think I sweated out, but sure had a blast, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think.